All right, already getting photo bombed here by uh, Maurice. I'm gonna do a video next on a quote that I put out on my Instagram channel the other day, which basically said, some perfumes are love at first sight and some are like slow burning friendships that grow into true love over time. So I'm gonna show you five that were love at first sight and five that were just, okay, we're friends, but now I love them. Stay tuned to find out what they are coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel the Nose here at Osme Perfumery in sunny, warm, beautiful Miami, Florida. 73, 74 degrees today in the middle of January. It's just, uh, what else can I say? All right, so today's video is based again from the intro on a quote that I had made on my Instagram. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's the same at Joel the Nose. And uh, it was, Contemplating, you know, perfumes and how, you know, sometimes like your attraction maybe to another person, it's like love at first sight, instant chemistry, versus sometimes other perfumes, you're like, okay, eh, so-so, you know, maybe I like it, maybe sometimes you don't even like it, maybe it's an enemy at first, and you, you know, someone you really just don't even like, but then as you get to know them and spend more time with them, potentially it turns into true love. I mean, a lot of people say, starting out as friends, and then going into a real romantic relationship is the best way to do it. I don't know, I'm not here to comment on that. I'm just here to talk about 10 perfumes. So I've got five in each category and I'll, let's just go first right down. Uh, I'm gonna do the love at first sight fragrances and this is in no particular order. This one is actually a relatively new fragrance from Roja Parfums, Roja Dove, and this is Apex. This is the uh, Parfum Cologne. Uh, version. There's also an extrait version. Uh, I like both of them, but this one I'm just going to talk about. It's easier to mention. It came out a little bit before the other one. This is just to me straight up 80s style, kind of masculine green, intense fragrance that it reminds me again of the classic men's fragrances from the 80s. So the minute I smelled this, to me, this was just instant, instant love, uh, instant collection, or instant member of the collection, love this fragrance. Next, and this is not gonna surprise a lot of you, of course, Desired from Ella Sire. Uh, what else am I gonna say? This is a saffron, spicy, ambery, oud explosion. There's no other way around it. When I first smelled it in this little tiny gold bottle, it was like liquid gold to me. And it still to this day, even years later, is one of my absolute top favorite fragrances. Love at first sight. Next, and uh, there, you know, Sergeyev has so many. I could have named Udin, I could have named Naxos, but I'm gonna go with one that I think is really one of their, their truly best fragrances. And when I first smelled it, it blew me away. And that's Pico Valle Dama. Pico Valladama is, if you want something that's luxurious and beautiful and screams like superior niche fragrance, this is it. I mean, just listen to some of these notes. Calabrian bergamot, lemon from Amalfi, Bulgarian rose, coriander, Moroccan atlas, cedar, orris, incense, patchouli from Indonesia, sandalwood, Mexican vanilla, musk. Oof, I hadn't actually smelled this one in a little while. I'm glad because when I was thinking about this list, this is one of those fragrances that was instant love, instant love. All right, next from Initio, musk therapy. Okay, this is a fragrance again, came out, you know, maybe a year and a half ago. And you can see the top there, musk therapy. You know, to me, this is, this is, by the way, kind of in that white musk category, so it's not the animalic musk. It's fresh, it's a little bit fruity. Uh, again, when you look at the notes on this, if you've never smelled this, you've got bergamot, you've got mandarin, white mangolia, cassis, white sandalwood, rose, uh, white musk and rose musk. So I love, I found over the last 
couple of years as I've started to mix and make my own fragrances that I love cassis as a note. It gives it a little bit of a green effect, but this one, the minute I smelled it, I knew. I knew that it would be in my collection and it still is and it's a mainstay in my fragrance collection. Last and of course, certainly not uh, least, from Ormond Jane, this is Taif Elixir. Taif Elixir to me, it's a flanker. You have, they came out with Taif originally. Uh, this is uh, an, uh, I believe it's an extrait, but if it's not an extrait, what they've done is they've essentially taken Taif, which is a uh, really, really special rose fragrance in its own, and they've added oud to it. So I just makes it darker, makes it richer. Oud and rose is really one of the classic fragrance combinations in perfumery. So, uh, you know, Ormond Jane uses the best ingredients. They use the best materials. Classic British house, Linda Pilkington, the founder, the creative director. She's a real treasure, met her here a few months ago at Osme and uh, got to talk to her about a lot of her fragrances, got to smell a lot of the natural materials she brought with her, even ambergris and things like that. But Taif Elixir, again, the minute I smelled it, I knew this is a fragrance for me. All right, now, maybe, more the, maybe the more interesting part, five fragrances that were just, okay, I like them, You're, you know, we're friends, we're gonna hang out, and then it turned into like true love soulmate type fragrances. And again, in no particular order, I'm gonna go with, from Serge Off, another Serge Off fragrance, Luxor. Luxor to me um, is from the Oud Stars collection. And I guess maybe why it wasn't love at first sight, because when I first smelled this a few years ago, this is an Oud, in your face, pungent, you better like me or you're gonna run from me type fragrance. And I, when I first smelled it, you know, a few years ago, I was still kind of getting adjusted to that more animalic, stinky, I use the word stinky, oud. And therefore it was, it was just like really in my face. And I'm like, okay, I like this, but I'm not sure if it's something I would wear. Fast forward about two, three years later now, oud is just such a wonderful fragrance note that I love, even the most animalic, even though, of course, oud is not an animal note. But you know what I mean, that barnyard smell, as some people refer to it. So oud, uh, so I'm sorry, Luxor has become one of the absolute true loves for me from Serge Off. If you love oud, you gotta try this one. Next, I'm gonna go with Floris London, and this is number 89. And surprisingly, although this is one of their most popular fragrances, probably, uh, from my understanding, in their collection of all time from this classic British niche house. Number 89, again, most people put this as the, at, in their top five of all time for classic men's fougere barbershop, as it's sometimes referred to, fragrance. Um, fresh, lavender, oak moss, bright. Uh, it's got a little bit of sweetness to it, a little bit of green quality to it, but for some reason, I didn't, you know, when I first wore it, it was, okay, you know, I like this. It didn't blow me away. And now this is one of those fragrances that I really can't do without. It's, it's just a absolute everyday banger that you can wear in any situation. And it's developed into, again, true love for me. Number 89 from Floris. Gonna go back to a really strong, and this is even stronger oud to me than Luxor. And this is from the house of Ramon Manigal, Soul of Oud. Soul of Oud is, just be ready. If you love Oud and you love that more animalic barnyard, kind of in your face, Middle Eastern Oud, this is one for you. It is three or four sprays on and you're gonna smell like for miles. People are gonna smell you. It works so well with my skin. Again, when I first smelled this a few years ago, it was intimidating. And I, you know, like, okay, um, there was something attracted to me about it, but I was too timid at first to wear this in my oud journey. Now it's something that, again, it's in my collection. I wear it all the time. 
and it is, if you like oud and you like how it mixes with the oils in your skin, this is an unbelievably, unbelievably good oud fragrance and one that is now true love for me. Next, I'm gonna go with one of my favorite niche houses, Veronique Gabay, and this is Sexy Garik. So again, interestingly, this is I think one of their absolute best sellers. But when I first started getting into this house, there were a lot of other fragrances that I preferred, um, including one of my favorite all-time fragrances, a mint fragrance, Vert Désert, which is just sublime mint fragrance. Sexy Garik, I don't know why at first, it was, maybe it's this kind of a little bit boozy, ambery, sweet fragrance. By the way, perfect for this time of year. Um, I think maybe because I thought it lended, it, it went a little bit more to the feminine side. And I do know that a lot of women, when I see them come in here, this is a very popular fragrance for women. So maybe that was part of it. Maybe I'm like, oh, okay, it's, it's more of a, of a lady's fragrance, not so much of a man's. And it wasn't until after, I think, maybe a master class that Veronique did here at Osme, where I got to hear her talk about this in person, and I gave it another shot and started to wear it more, and now it's just one of those fragrances that I love, that boozy, worn, warm, ambery uh, element that this has. And so here's something again. Started out just so-so for me. Now it's true love. Lastly, and again, but not least, this one's the biggest shock for me. This is from Fragrance Dubois, and this is PM, one of their newer fragrances uh, releases in the last year. PM, this is the collaboration with producer Michael, the kind of famous celebrity, I guess, influencer slash watch guy slash now he, he does a lot with perfumes. I gotta be honest, when I first saw this came out, it was annoying to me. Uh, he, his persona was always kind of a little bit annoying to me. And then, <laughs> you know, despite my, I guess, stubbornness, you know, even, a, I don't know, maybe it was a month ago, Maurice was talking about this with me, about PM and how it's one of those fragrances that it is really good and it's really special when you put it on your skin and you wear it and you give it a chance. And once I started doing that, completely changed my mind. So PM is one of those fragrances that I would say went from actually, I didn't like it. I, it wasn't because I didn't like the juice, it's because the persona and I just, you know, it was not someone that I necessarily would follow or that I thought was necessarily a fragrance person. And then boom, you gotta get past sometimes your prejudices, your stubbornness, your preconceptions and just smell the juice. And if you do that with this fragrance PM, I tell you right now, if you haven't tried it or you've been like me and been kind of you know stupid about your, your preconceptions, you're gonna really like that one. So there it is guys, uh, my list based on my quote from last week and hope you found this one kind of fun and also entertaining and also still useful and maybe will give you the impetus to try some fragrances other than just love at first sight. I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks for watching as always. Peace, love, and perfume.